Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Quake. Yes, the beloved classic and yes, it's made a lot easier this time with the help of PC console commands. Some of you may cheer, some of you may boo, but still, who cares as long as it's fun, right? Uh, this was developed by Machine Games, Night Dive Studio and ID Software, published by Bethesda and you can grab it on Xbox Game Pass right now. So this was slightly trickier in all fairness to put together than my other Quake 2 guide uh, purely because I wanted to do these achievements in a level order so hopefully following along is the quickest way and it'll net you, net you that cheeky 1k in around 30 to 40 minutes or so. Yes, console commands will be used like god mode, no clip, and all the fun juicy stuff all in between. So, well... I guess there's nothing left to say except I hope that you've got a uh, hope you got the uh, hope you got a PC and you're all ready to go and let's do it now. Of course, just like Quake Two, um, obviously what we'll do here when we get to the main menu, we will go to single player, hit new, and then start the new game on Quake. So to get the console command menu up, you need to be pressing the button which is underneath the escape key. It's called the tilde. It's one of the yeah little lines it's it should be on the majority of keyboards anyway it's just underneath the escape key so once you got the console command menu up you're going to be pressing uh, clicking map space e1 m1 then this is the first level here we go and then what we need to do then is uh, you need to put in sv underscore cheats space three i don't think the number matters too much but that's what you're going to do then god then and press enter no clip and enter and more importantly, skill and uh, skill space three. This means the level is now on nightmare mode. So God, no clip, skill space three. By the way, the cheats won't work if you don't put SV cheats in as well. So once you've done all that, then what we're going to do, we're going to head down. Of course, it's WASD as usual. And straight down and then to the right slightly. And this is the exit. So what you need to do is go in. No clip off. And then that is the first level complete. That will get you the first achievement for Slipgate Pacifist. That's for completing the Slipgate Complex on Nightmare without firing a shot. So, now we're on to the second level. You're going to put God on, no clip on. Uh, skill 3 doesn't actually matter here. It doesn't matter because we're going to get a miscellaneous achievement. So, what you need to do then is fire your shotgun a couple of times. If the ogre doesn't start coming back, go and grab him. Hello, Mr. Ogre. Come here, you smelly thing. Don't kill anyone just yet. We need the ogre to kill one of these guys. Once he's once he's done that, the friendly fire achievement should unlock. So this is, uh, yep, so that one is done. So that should be two achievements already then. So friendly fire done as well. Right, so next up then, what we're going to do is go to um, console command menu, map. E1M4. And then, of course, do your normal god, your no clip, and all the good stuff in between as well. Uh, you don't, again, it doesn't matter about skill three or skill, it really doesn't matter here. Uh, so we'll back out. We'll go to the left ever so slightly and just basically sort of start heading down. So left slightly down, straight through the wall until you see this dock with a key on it. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go to the left of the wall, and there is the end portal. So it's literally to the left of where you've just seen the key and the dock. So stick your nugget down there, no clip it off. Now, just a word of warning, with the no clip stuff, you do have to be sort of uh, quite high above the ground. If you are too close to the ground, it'll actually throw you back to the beginning of the level, so... You know, just be aware, otherwise you'll be a prickly bear and be fuming. Grrr, etc, etc, you know, the grrr. Right, so, back into the console command menu then. We're going to go map, space, E1, M5. This time. So map, E1, M5, we're going to get another couple of miscellaneous achievements. So what I do highly recommend putting here is putting impulse. So go into your console command menu, impulse space minus one um so when you go to the left here you are going to go into a secret area and this is the shambler 
Um, now, what we're supposed to do is kill him with an axe and um, kill him before he hits us with a lightning attack. Now, the reason that we would put impulse space minus one in is basically that is quad damage. Uh, which means he would get sh killed in just a couple of shots. Now, I forgot to do it the first time, so um, I ended up having to do it again. So we killed him with an axe there, so I did get the uh, a close shave achievement. Plus, you'll get the secret sleuth achievement for finding a secret area as well. Um, but yeah, that's why I said to do the impulse minus one, because when you hit him with an axe a couple of times, and uh, just hit him straight away, then... Oh, <laughs> well, that's funny. I forgot to go onto the actual map first. Doing! I am doingish. But yeah, that's why I said to put impulse minus one on first, because you would have um, got the two achievements done in no time at all. But again, it doesn't matter if, uh, like I said, if, if, if you did it the first time, if you did it not, that's fine. Now we've got it on. So head up there, obviously to the left again, turning no clip off. Uh, if you want an easier time as well, oh, and there we go. So it should be okay to just kill him with a couple of shotgun blasts here. But if you wanted an even easier time, if you put impulse space nine in, that will actually give you all weapons, and the nail gun will take him down in no time at all. So next up, then, what we're going to do? We're just going to go to uh, console command menu, map E one M seven. This time, so map E one M seven. This time, we're just going to complete the level. So God. No clip on. Um, in fact, no. Turn your no clip off. Grab the rune. And then from here, we can actually turn the no clip off. Uh, oh, back on, sorry. And then you don't actually have to kill the boss. So don't worry about that. You can just go straight past him. Straight through. Down. And there is the exit. So, again, turn your no clippy clips off. And that will be... The Sink the Horror Electric achievement for... The, uh, he's just pissed off at the camera. No, get away, camera. I am the devil and I lost my golden fiddle. Right, anyway, now we're going to go to map E2M3. So we're going to go to E2 and M3. Yep, this will do it. So again, it's your normal stuff. You got mode, you know, clip. Because, you know, the devil went down to Georgia. He was looking for a soul of steel. He was in a band because he was way behind. He was willing to make a deal. Uh, it's a classic song if you haven't heard it. So, back up. Go to the right. Ever so sort of slightly. Um, through this sort of left door hallway. Straight through. And you can see this big blue wall. This is the blue wall that we're looking for then. So, once you've seen that blue wall, head straight down. And go straight through the wall until you see this weird fish. It's called a dope fish because he's... Looking for a soulless deal. Uh, turn your no... <coughs> oh, excuse me there. <laughs> turn your no clip off, and that will get you the Well of Wishes achievement. And then what you can do is get the secret exit as well. So turn your no clip back on. Uh, now, as long as you're looking at the fish, go straight up. And there is the secret exit. So turn your no clip back off. Oh, pff, straight in the water. And straight through, and that should get you the Nevermore achievement as well. So that's two achievements in quick step time, no time at all. Because I was in a band and I was way behind. Right, back to the menu. We're going to type in map E2M6 this time. So E2M6. And again, this is just one for completing it. That's what we're going to do. So again, your god, your no clip, turn it on. It's all good. So, this time, what we're going to do then, from here, we will back out. So, sort of head straight up, as it were. Um, and then, if you have a look just to the right, there is the exit. So, it's basically just where the body of water finished. There's the exit. So, you can actually go behind the portal, turn your no-clip off, and complete this level. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're not very good at the game, though. We don't find any secrets. We don't kill anything. Um, we do complete it in 28 seconds, though. So that's Q. Right, next up, map. Um, map space E3M4. So, map E3M4 is the hot and whining road. 
Mm -hmm. So straight down and slightly to the right. It's uh, it can be a bit disorientating when you are kind of looking. So it's sh it should basically be straight down and just to the right a bit. If you, it's it's definitely underneath you. So if you're having a bit of trouble there, just um, have a spin around and look for the portal. There it is. Yeah, that one can be a little bit disorientating. Of course, when you do go out of the map, obviously Quake Two just has blackness, dark screen, which is good. This one has you gouging your eyes out because yeah. Looks like you're on a mega trip. Right, map E3 M6 is up next. And again, this is just one for completing the level. So what we'll do then from here, we're going to head up to the left. And what we're going to see is, if you go straight in front of us now, you're going to see the hot pit of lava. And there it is then. There's the exit. Now, you may have to grab the rune. Um... But apparently the enemies are in the way. Excuse me, sir. Nope, just grab the rune and go through the portal. You can, again, try and get behind the portal. I tried doing it a couple of times, though, and it kept throwing me back to the beginning of the level. So I thought, screw you. Right, next up. Yes, that's exactly what I thought. Right, so in the main menu, or the, the console menu, uh, map E4M5. We're going to be grabbing uh, another secret exit. So map E4M5, obviously God on, no clip on, for some reason these zombies sound like they're having a hell of a time with themselves. So we go straight down, and then you can see these little bits of candle flames right here. Turn to the left, and on the right you're going to see a portal. Now we do have to go through this one um, with no clip off. So turn off the clip of life, and now it's obviously going to put you in a body of water, so, you know, get up. Gotta get up. Gotta get up. Space about to jump, by the way, of course. Gotta get up. Gotta get up. So when you get to this new area, head up, and then basically straight to the rear of the level. Straight to the bum of the level, if you want to call it that. There we go. So don't press the silver key. Go straight across this little pit of lava through the left set of silver key door. And that is the secret exit. This one's into Sandy City. Sandy! Still got three kills because I'm badass. Yeah. Took a minute to complete this though, which is terrible. Terrible. Right, so we are on to this level. So uh, it is map E4M6 which we're going to put in, so map E4, M6. Um, make sure as well to put your, obviously, God, your no clip, and your skill 3 this time. So make sure this is in nightmare mode, so skill 3. So what you'll do is head up, and then if we go straight across, again, straight through the wall, and you can see this little portal. This is another one we're going to go through, so turn off your clippy clips again. Jump through, yeah, and then we are going to turn the um, uh, no clip back on. So turning no clip back on, and then straight in front of us, you can see where the little candle torch fire is burning. Straight in front of us, this is effectively the end. So what we need to do is go through these doors here. Just follow the hallway around, and this is the end of the level. So you actually have to interact with the. Um, archway in order to finish the level. So turn your no clip back off. Going through the darkness, you crap your pants, but it's not the end of the level. Uh, you actually have to interact with the archway. There we go. So that is the painless maze achievement. So near damage, nil poir, nil damage. So next up, we're going to go to map E4M7. So map E4M7 again. Put all the good stuff on God mode. And no clip. So what we're going to do then, we're going to, from the stand position, we're going to immediately back up. So we'll look at the floor and we'll back up. Um, just go forward a little bit until you see the sort of pool. And then just to the right of you, at the pool or the circle or whatever, just to the right of you there is the portal. This is the exact portal that we need. So no clip back off and straight through. So this, again, is one that just takes seconds. Or, if you're French, Sechwans.
Of course, that's not French, and I don't actually know what language that was supposed to be in. Right, so it's time for the end. So what we're going to do, we're, once again, we're going to go map, space, end. And immediately put God Mode on. And you can put your no clip on as well, but just quickly put God Mode on here. Uh, then put no clip on. And we are going to go for the, uh, this is the end boss. So make sure to put in skill three as well. We need to complete this on nightmare mode. So once we head up, we can go, um, <laughs> well, here is the thing you see. So you can turn the no clip off and go straight through. Now, we can turn no clip back on and we can just basically head straight through. This is the boss right here. Now, to, to actually kill the boss, what we need to do is head up straight and you can see this little portal. But what you need to do is wait until a, there's a spiky ball flying around. There it is. So once that spiky ball is inside the boss, giggity giggity, ha ha ha, then you can go through the portal and that will kill him. As you can see, um, I failed to do that. So um, yeah, we'll just try that again. Shambler, you can bagger off, Stan. Um, but yes, yeah, so we just need to wait until the spiky ball is inside his his master. I was going to say something even worse then, but never mind. Because that... <laughs> no, no. So wait until he's inside. Once he is, go straight through the portal and you will get the achievement. For some reason, I decided to take way too long in order to finish there. So we'll just try it one more time. Here, here. Yeah, me feeling, feeling so bad. One more time. There he is, right? He's straight in the rear end, so straight through. And again, as long as you put skill three on nightmare mode, you will get two achievements there for defeating Shub Nigarath and completing Quake in Nightmare. So, uh, yeah. So good, man. So good. Right, so after this bit, it's going to chuck you back into the main menu. So now we will go single player again. Oh, yeah, single player. Uh, new game and scour Scourge scourge of Armagon. Scourge, scourge of Armagon. Yeah, that'll do it. So what we're going to do is go to uh, the menu map space hip 1M2. So hip 1M2. Obviously, pop it on God mode and no clip. So we can walk through walls. Haven't you always wanted to walk through walls? You probably have to be a ghost for that. But anyway, uh, what we're going to do is head straight through. We're basically just going to follow this uh, next hallway round. So go to the left. And then follow the hallway round until you see this area here. Uh, so turn around and we need to go straight through this door. Through this little hallway and there is the exit. So that's going to be the military complex achievement done, dusted and bugger blasted for you. And we got three kills as well because I'm such a good Quaker. If that's even a thing. Right, so once we've got to the next level then we will go onto the console menu. Uh, map, hip, space, 1M4. So map, space, hip, 1M4. Again, we're just going to be completing this one. So God it up, no clip it up. And then what we'll do from here is we're going to head down and you can see this big giant spinny thing. Yep, that's the one. So what we'll do is uh, there's basically four exits that we can take. So if we go straight past it, straight through this area, there is the exit. So if you don't find the exit on your first try, it's in one of the other ones. Um, and this will always happen. So nay panicky bother. Straight through, and this is the next achievement. Yep, flying through it now. Did you think you'd be finishing Quake in such Quake time? Ha! Huh? Get it! Quick, Quake! It's all funny. Sort of. Right. <laughs> anyway. Um, map it up um, to Hip2M1. So map space Hip2M1. Go for another secret exit. So got it up. No clip it up. And then, um, now what I ended up doing was just saving a couple of times because I found it easier just to load up the save rather than keep going back and having to do the map stuff. So head down and slightly to the right until you can see Chainsaw Bra. Hello, Mr. Chainsaw Bra. Could you get out of my way? Thank you. Anyway, there is the exit just to the right. So, yeah. Get out of my way, damn it. 
There we go. So again, it was down slightly right into the room with the angry chainsaw bras. And yep, there we go. So next up, we're going to be putting in map space hip 2M5. So hip 2M5 this time. And again, the Garner God, the Garner Clip It. And we're going to fly up until we're sort of out of the map. Yeah, keep flying. And then if we look to... Oh, jeez, that's disorientating, isn't it? So we basically just need to go straight. Sort of head to the left-hand side. Uh, continue going on straight. We're looking for the rear admiral end of the level. So head to the right. And you can see these bits of wood. Straight in front of us, though, is where the exit is. So uh, we can turn no clip off. We can interact with the switch and finish the level. Again, uh, it can be a bit disorientating if you're looking around and it genuinely makes you feel like your eyes are going to pop out from your skull. Or if you're just on the, uh, you know, the old little Coca-Cola trip, the old, uh, you know, trip of life, the old uh, sugar me doo. So then this is the next level, but you can type in map space hip 3m1 just to be on the safe side if you wanted to do that but it is the level we're supposed to be on so again god no clip we're going to be getting the you're not supposed to be here achievement uh so what we'll do straight from here then we'll look at the ground we'll back up and then we can turn around and basically uh, we we turn around and go straight up and you can see like this little tiny little ledge thing so we need to get right at the very top of here so we can turn the no clip off once you are sort of safe on the ledge. Yep, there we go. Walk up. You'll... <clears throat> excuse me. You'll get the message there. You're not supposed to be here. And the achievement will unlock. So apparently we're not supposed to be here. Fan! That's fan! Screw you guys. I'm going home. Right, next up then we're going to go for map space hip 3 M3. So hip 3 M3. Again, got it, no clip it. Got it, no clip it. There we go. And again, I always make a save just at the beginning of the level. You can do that if you want. But we're basically going to head straight down. It's basically in the starting area. So you turn around, look down slightly. There's the exit. So it's a little simple case of clipping yourself off and heading through. And that will get you the secret level. That's a secret exit. So a long yard achievement should unlock. And now we're going to go for the ending. Nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. So, again, we're going to go to map. Um, map. Uh, um, hip end. Sorry. Ma so map space hip end. We're going to put god mode on. We're going to keep no clip off, by the way, for now. But we are going to put it to skill three. Now, it's important to turn no clip off for now. Um... What I also ended up doing was putting the impulse minus one quad damage on. So turn your no clip off, interact with the uh, pentagram right in front of you. This will get the boss going. If you just go straight to the boss and kill him with no clip on, the game will actually bug and you'll have to do it again. So make sure that you've got quad damage on just so you can kill him easy as hell. It doesn't matter as long as quad damage is, uh, is on, it doesn't matter what... It doesn't matter what weapon that you've got, you will be able to do that easily. Um, there we go. So that's how you kill the boss. Easy as pie with cheats. <laughs> Probably a bit more difficult without. But still, there we go. That'll be the achievement. So after this little cutscene plays out, we will then get the Scourge Done Slick and Armagon achievement. That's for completing the Scourge of Armagon and doing it on Nightmare Mode as well. So it's going to throw us straight back into the main menu after this one. And now we're going to do a nada ting. So straight into single player. This time we're going to go for the Dissolution of Eternity. Um, and again, we're coming up sort of close to the end now. So there's only a couple of things left to do. So they're not obviously as long as the Scourge of Armagon or Quick Quake. Quick Nest Quake. 
Uh, but there we go. So go to Dissolution of Eternity then. And the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to Map Space R1M7. So that's Map R1M7. There we go. And then, of course, we're going to pop in God, and we're going to pop in No Click as well. And then from here, we're going to head basically straight up. Um, and then if we just look to the left of us, you can see where these sort of torches are burning in the distance. That's what we're aiming for. Hello, this busy exit now. So no clip it, snip it through. Skarboosh, skarboosh, got to find it, meh, meh, meh. That's a bunch of frightening, very, very frightening. Galileo. And there's like ghosts and grim reapers and stuff as well. That's, uh, yeah, that's all good. So with that one done, we are now going to go to map again. And we're going to go to R2M8. So map space R2, mate. Sounds like a really annoying taxi driver. R2, mate. R2. What do? No, oh, sorry, that was a terrible attempt at an accent. Never mind. Um, yeah, I'm just not going to bother. Not going to bother. Sorry. Right. God, no clip, and make sure to put skill space three on this time. And we're also going to put impulse space nine. That's going to give us all of the weapons which we need for killing this crystal big dog. So go straight through to the end, and you can go to the right here through the locked gateway. Go uh, around the hallway until we come up to this room. Now what we're gonna do with the big four quake signs on the wall, we're actually just going to nip our way straight through that. We're not going up. So do, uh, do apologize about that bit. There we go, straight through and you can see the crystals. So uh, no clip yourself off, grab a rocket launcher or something and go nuts. Um, now, as you can see, sometimes you can get pushed straight off. So yeah, let's just kill it with a rocket launcher while in no clip. That'll do it. That uh, will complete that one. And we will get the Rogue Ranger achievement and the Dragon Slayer achievement as well um, for completing the Dissolution of Eternity and doing it in Nightmare Mode. So again, it's going to chuck us straight back to the main menu. So now we're going to go to New Game, Dimension of the Past. So Dimension of the Past, what we're going to do is go to Map. Space E5M6. So map E5M6. And then, of course, God Mode. No clip on. It's all good. There we go. Right, so these are long levels, so I'll just tell you what to do. Uh, it's easy. Right, so basically, if you go down and sort of straight through, what you can do, what you finally would see is this portal, but this isn't the one. From the portal that we're looking at, go left, around, and this is actually the secret exit that we are looking for. So no clip yourself off, go straight through, and that is the next one done. So now we're going to complete Dimensions of the Past on Nightmare. So we are going to go map, space, E5, end. So map space E5 end. And then of course you're going to put God mode on straight away. No clip on straight away. And you'll also again make sure to put skill 3 on as well. So don't forget skill 3. So uh, excuse me if you could stop biting me. That would be great. So we're going to head to the right. Um, and if we look sort of behind us. What we're looking for then is this sort of lava pole. So it's sort of directly behind you. Go through to the right and you can see this big massive lava pit. Now there's a secret stairway, which is what this big fat gremlin thing is standing on. So what we need to do then, when we are in here, we need to be looking for a stairway. So again, can be quite disorientating, um, but we need to be looking for a secret stairway underneath here. There it is. So once we are down here, uh, we're just going to follow the hallway around until we get to this bit. This sort of, well, this is the exit, the one with Quake on it. So what we'll need to do again, um, I think we actually do need to kill all the enemies in this room before we, uh, before the um, uh, stone door 
knobs off. So again, um, I'm putting impulse space one. What I'm meant to be doing is putting impulse space minus one. That'll give you the quad damage. Pop that in and just kill them all dead. And that will reveal the exit and done on a bun because it's fun, hun. You're living in the past, Marge. Quit living in the past. So that should get you another two achievements there. The Year Zero and Otherworldly. So we're going to go straight back into single player. New game. You're living in the past, Marge. Stop living in the past. And then what we'll do is head down to Dimension of the Machine this time. So we should only have four achievements left. So first thing we're going to do is go map MGE1. M1. So MGE1 M1. Again, God mode and um, <laughs> no clip. And we're actually just going to be finding the secret level. Right, so from here then, what we're going to do is go straight down through the map. Um, well, I say straight down, it's effectively going to the next room. Where the fan is, we're going to <laughs> effectively again go straight down down and then if we turn around what we're looking for then is this area with the long pipe so where the fan was if we just head down turn around look for this big circular looking area with a long pipe this is actually the exit that we're looking for so we can go behind the locked gate turn no clip off head through and that is the end again sorry about the terrible explanation right there um that one kept <laughs> messing me up every time i tried doing it um we, I done 25 takes and that was the best one. Yes, I'm afraid. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go to um, map space M G end. So map space M G end. So we're going to be finishing the last level off. So M G end right there. There we go. We're going to turn God mode on. No clip off, of course. Um, and then all we need to do, we don't actually have to fight anyone. Uh, make sure to put skill 3 on as well. So skill space 3. So what you'll do is head straight and then we're going to go to the right here. So we're going to go through this door, which is on the right of us. Head down. And there is the secret exit portal or the uh, legendary portal itself. And that's job Done. That should now get you the Machine Head achievement, providing you've done it on Nightmare Mode, and the Vengeance Denied achievement. And now what we've got to do then is one more quick achievement in Deathmatch. Now, you can either do that, that one with the second controller on your Xbox, or if you want, you can just use a training bot, which we're going to do. So we're going to go to Local Play. Um, make sure that it is Deathmatch. And then what we're going to do is go to Change Settings. So, um, number of bots we're going to put as one um, map. Now, I found it easier, actually, in the end, to put it into DM5, the cistern. Uh, so, we're going to do one bot. We're going to put him on training difficulty. We're not actually going to use any cheats for this one as well. So, what you're going to do when you play and start the map, what you need to do is find this body of water. Sometimes you start close to it, sometimes you won't. Find this bit with the three pillars in, and then you can see a little pentagram type thing. So pick that up, grab the electric uh, gun, the thunder gun, and just wait for the enemy underwater. When he's here, give him a little shoot, and that should give you the achievement. Um, discharge. That's for an electrocuting an enemy in water without dying. So if you, if you try doing it with cheats, uh, it wouldn't work at all. So what you have to do there is find that body of water, grab that pentagon... Grab the thunder gun, and that will be, uh, that is how you get that achievement. So, again, apologies if that was a little bit quick, though, there. But there we go, then, guys and gals. That is Quake, so you should now be on 35 out of 35 achievements. So, thank you so, so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the game, and I hope the guide helped as well. If you did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout-out, as always, to my Patreon supporters, YouTube members, and anyone who interacts with me on the daily. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next Game Pass game, guys and gals. Big love.